cancelled. Sweezy. So your boy Sweezy got his first round of the COVID vaccine. So I got it at Music City Center, um, which I do want to say, if you're in Nashville, uh, this is probably the be- easiest way, like if you're in the city, like I am, it's probably the best, and I think it's free way to get the vaccine because um, I think it's free and they didn't ask me for any uh, financial information, but we'll see. But I don't, I think it's pretty much free. I think they want, I think the world wants everyone to get fucking vaccinated. Um, But it was, no, it was free at Music City Center. Go to their website and just, just Google Music City Center vaccine. Uh, You'll be fine. I don't know the exact website. Sorry, folks. Uh, But no, everyone make a plan to go get their vaccine, especially in Nashville. I know we have other people who don't live here. Uh, in Nashville, but if you are living in Nashville, please fucking make a plan to get your vaccine. And also, everyone not in Nashville, figure out a plan to get your vaccine so you can actually get it. Because I want the world to return to where I'm uh, making out with women at random ass bars and going to random ass bars. And why are all my examples at bars? That's a good question, folks. So, um, I went to Music City, Music City Center. It's in downtown Nashville. Now, look. They did a fantastic job uh, with everything. They figured out every nook and cranny of how to make the most efficient way to get through everything and get the vaccine very quickly. I didn't spend more than 30 minutes there. Like, literally, my appointment was, like, there's, like, come between the hours of 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. And I showed up at 2 p.m. I got out by 2.30. So, nevertheless, they did a really good job. And they, they are doing a really good job. And I really think they're doing really good for my study. But also, um, I do a podcast, so I'm going to complain about this, <laughs> about this. Overall, it was a good, it was a good experience for me, like getting this. It was very efficient. They did a really good job. They, they had everything set up perfectly and I cannot complain about how they did that, but I'm going to complain about the nitty gritty details because that's what you come to the show for. So I took an Uber cause it was downtown and I didn't really want to deal with parking. So I took an Uber downtown and uh, they dropped me off. I, I realized it was the wrong side. Um, not the Uber driver's fault. My fault. Because I'm an idiot. Um, so basically I had to walk there. And then basically you get in there. And you basically have to walk the entire fucking Music City Center. To get where you need to go. Like you literally walk the entire thing. Uh, to get where you need to go. So much fucking walking. Uh, I checked my like steps. By the time I got home. By the time I got home I checked my steps. Ended up being 2,502 steps in exactly one mile. Like, I literally walked a mile in a singular building. It was so much walking. Um, But at last, I'm trying to say, like, it was very efficient. It was was very well done. Like, this, I'm telling you people, it was a good thing to do this there um, at Music City Center. I'm telling you, it was a really good, it was a really good experience. But I'm, I do a podcast, so I have to complain about everything. And I'm probably, and I'm Jewish too, so I have to complain about that too. Um, So, but also, before the walking, you walk in, you go to like the first desk. And um, the lady behind the desk, first of all, was like, are you here for your second dose? And my reaction, like, no, I'm here for my first. And then, uh, and then we're like, okay, what's your name? And I shwegler, and they're like, S-C-H, and I have to fucking spell Schwegler out for some fucking reason. Uh, we as a society don't know that's the name, uh, even though there's not a lot of us. Um, but no, we, we persisted. Um, my brain goes on this rant, though, when she said, is this your second dose? My mind goes to, what the fuck are you saying? Are, do I look like a high-risk, fat individual that needs... He's already on his fucking second dose? No, I'm not on my second dose. I'm a healthy individual who has a couple extra pounds who is on his first dose. So thank you. I'm here to get my first COVID vaccine. Uh, miss me with that bullshit. Uh, that's how my mind works. I do not think her intentions were like that. That's how my brain works, folks. And that's what... That's the way it is. So uh, we basically have go. I walked basically a mile uh, to finally get my vaccine. You fill out a form, and I apparently filled it out wrong, so I had to redo it. <laughs> and you know, like the guy could have been like, "God damn it, you fucking idiot!" Like 
you filled this out wrong. But he was just like, oh, it looks like you filled it out wrong. And then I'm not a dick to people in public or a dick to people I don't know. I'm like, my bad. I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> so I had to go back and fucking fill it out. <laughs> they're like, they took pens and they're like, we're going to sanitize the pens. <laughs> And, and, and I'm like, hey, I need a pen. They're like, here, I'll give you a sanitized one. Like, fucking bullshit. Because I'm the fucking idiot in this group. <laughs> so I fill out the form correctly. And then I, I finally can get my vaccine. So I'm sitting down with the guy. I'm sitting left hand to the guy. So um, if you're watching, uh, and if, um, left arm to the guy who's about to uh, shoot me with a little uh, fizzy. He He's like... So basically talk, I had to verify my HIPAA shit. Uh, and then he's like, do you want it in your left hand or your right hand? And there was the first part of me, it's like, well, I play guitar. Uh, how, and it's like, you, you you might be not fun to play guitar for one day. Uh, but then there's also, maybe I want to masturbate. <laughs> and so I'm like, just do it in my left hand. But it's also the closest one, so it was kind of like a two-in-one. So I covered up the idea of shoot me in my left hand because I still want to masturbate. So uh, he shoots me in my left arm, and uh, I'm like, I'm from the 90s, so uh, therefore uh, my birthday starts with 19. Uh, and then, so therefore, uh, Gen Z thinks I'm old. And so, like, they're, I'm, I'm like, I'm ready for like a super bad, like, v- like shot. And we're going to go with the last shot I got, it was when my lip got super infected and got super big. And the very beautiful nurse was like, we're going to have to give you a, sh- uh, a steroid shot in your buttocks. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, oh, she means ass because uh, doctors speak normal words. I don't. And then I got shot in my ass and then I sprained my back doing it. <laughs> oh, my God. And so, no, anyways, no. So I'm with this COVID vaccine. I'm, I'm, I'm just expecting the worst to happen. I'm expecting this. Very, and I get blood work a lot, so I'm ex- expecting this very brutal needle that I'm scarred from from my childhood where my mom said, my mom tricked me into going to the dentist's office and lied to me. It was a good thing. Look, folks, I'm okay with her getting me vaccinated as a child, um, but I am aware she tricked me into getting them to not make me not feel bad, which um, I will say the end justifies the memes. Uh, nevertheless though, so I get the shot and I'm like, I'm like bracing for like this brutal pain shot in my arm. And then it's like this tiny little poke. I'm like, Oh, and then it's like, he pokes me and I'm expecting it to go further. And he's like, that's it. I'm like, Oh, and I'm like, yeah. You know, when we were kids, I I just assumed like, you know, I just remember when we were kids and like the shots were brutal. And then the doctor, then the, I don't know if he was a doctor or not. I'm going to, I'm just going to say he's a doctor just to up his ante. He's like, yeah, I remember that. And I'm like, I also look like I'm 17. So he probably feels really good with that compliment when I agree that we were both children at the same time. So he went on to do great thing. He's doing great things in the world. And I am talking to you about a lot of bullshit. Uh, So I'm like, I'm so used to though, like, I don't know why when I was a kid, I was a kid, I was born in 1993. So people argue that I wasn't an actual 90s kid because I was seven in 2000. But at the same time, I'm kind of, I identify as a 90s kid because uh, when you live in the state of Kansas, everything's like a lot of years behind. So if you can't, you, you, I was a, definitely a 90s kid. I, I will say a 2000s kid as well because I do love the emo music, but same time as that. So it was just like the tiniest pinch. And I was like, oh, accepting, I was expecting a lot worse. So uh, that was funny, though. But I'm glad I got it in the left arm. because It's just like I still want to masturbate tomorrow. <laughs> but also, everyone, I want to say, everyone, get your vaccines. Um, there are no Karens there because Karens don't believe in the vaccines. And everyone there is a normal fucking human being. So... Uh, if that's the idea of like, I don't want to deal with a fucking Karen, like, you know, Walmart or shit, like you're not dealing with them. They are, uh, not getting the vaccine because they're fucking R worded, R worded, meaning Republican. Um, so I guess I have to talk about, um, my side effects. So I did have some side effects. My arm definitely hurt the next day. Like you just had like a sore spot, no big deal, but I also felt like a little droggy. 
And here's the problem with that. Uh, I was drinking that night, and um, I couldn't figure out if it was a hangover or the actual vaccine. I'm going to say 25% hangover, 75% vaccine, but it wasn't that actual bad. Regardless, though, folks, I want everyone to get the vaccine. We need to get to a point where I can actually fucking play music ago, and I actually feel like I should actually stay in shape. Folks, so please fucking get your fucking vaccines. Please to fucking God. My parents both have it. I do not know what my brother has. It. He's also gay, so I know he's probably worried about HIV, which I don't know if the COVID vaccine gives HIV. I don't know, and uh, good luck to him, um, whatever the fuck he's doing. He's also kind of a dick, so it's okay to be, be me. You're like, oh, you're being me too mean to him. He's a dick in real life, so you can, you can be mean to him. I make fun of him, and that evens out our like friendship as siblings. So nevertheless, he persisted. Well, hey there, Schwoke Lord. You just finished a full clip from the show. I hope you liked it, and I hope your brain cells don't hurt. If you want to check out more, we got more links here. We got full episodes, more clips, and the best of best of everything. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, subscribe, and like this video if you enjoyed it.